16 WAPT's Burke Hayes talked to a Clarion Ledger reporter who just finished a series on problems inside the prison system. He continues our team coverage of the corrections corruption. Jerry Mitchell has intimate knowledge of the Mississippi prison system. This is after he's killed. Mitchell has been writing a newspaper series exposing a picture of gangs running wild in state prisons. In some cases, he reported allegations that correction department guards helped or turned a blind eye while inmates harmed other prisoners. But when we talked to that prison expert today, even he was shocked. That's thing. Obviously, there are allegations, but obviously the allegations are pretty serious. I mean, uh, more than $700,000 worth of alleged bribes paid to uh, Corrections Commissioner Chris Epps over a six-year period. Um, it's just uh, incredible. You never would have thought it. Mitchell says he has known there was an investigation, but these bribery allegations were never his focus. When you were working this for over a year investigating the Department of Corrections, do you have any uh, indication this was going on? Uh, yes, I was aware there was a, a federal investigation um, anyway, but um, you know, th that wasn't what started me down the trail, but I, I became aware of that at one point, yeah. Another well-known Rankin County leader, Cecil McCrory, was arraigned as well. That former legislator accused of handing over cash to Chris Epps for prison contracts. The federal indictment says Cecil McCrory paid off this house owned by Chris Epps in the Lineage Lake subdivision of Flowood in three payments. The payments were each $100,000 and one of 50000 The federal government has confiscated this house at 511 Shalom Way. It's worth about $359,000. For K-16 WAPT News, 